So I have just um, imported all these 200 deals here. And together with these 200 deals, I've additionally imported an organization and a contact person related to those deals. And since I haven't specified who the owner would be, it automatically put me as the owner of all those deals. So I actually have other users. And in this instance, I would actually like to uh, transfer the ownership of all these items I've just imported to this regular user over here. And perhaps I would also like to send it over to another pipeline. So they're automatically put into the first pipeline and first stage, but I would actually like to pass them over to the third pipeline and this first lead in stage. All right. So this is all kind of like a bulk edit that I'm going to do here. And the best way to do that would be through Excel. So I've already kind of um, sorted out all the, all the fields that I would need, the columns that I would need. And the most important ones are the ID columns. So the ID for the deal, ID for organization, ID for person. You can find those if you click on this gear icon here and just type ID and include those in. The other one that we would need, because we're gonna you know, edit the owners of the deals and person, persons and organizations, would be the owner column. So for those three ones. Um, and since we're also changing the stage and the pipeline, if you include the stage um, column, then in the mapping phase during the import, you can actually drag that to the correct pipeline, correct stage. So let's go ahead and export this. Excel. Download. And now we can open that in Excel right there. So what I'm going to do now is expand these owner columns. And I'm actually going to delete all this because I don't want to be the owner anymore. But I'm going to type in regular user because he's going he's to be the new owner. Regular user. So I'm just going to uh, copy this to the very end. Oh. Went too far, went too far. Right there. And I'm just going to go and copy that here. Copy that there. And I think that's about it. Save. Go back to pipe drive. And go to data import. Now let's go from file upload file so this seems to be the one that I just uh, changed let's upload that that might take some time now so we have all the system IDs there. That's okay. Person ID with person ID, organization ID with organization ID, deal ID with deal ID. That's good. These ones are also mapped correctly. You can see here by the icon deal, person, and organization. This is the one that we have to check because we have to manually drag it. So it was firstly in my in my first um, pipeline, lead in. So you have here all the stages from all the pipelines. Now look at that. Look here that we have the sales team C, which is my third pipeline. I can just drag this to, you know, the first stage of my third pipeline. Save. And that should be it. Click next. Merge data. Start import. Now, this might take some time because it's a lot of records that it has to update. It might take up to five minutes. So I'm just going to stop the video here. All right, so it seems that it's uh, already updated after a couple of minutes. Um, so let's just go ahead and check what happened. 
so you can see oh just click on refresh yeah exactly you can see here uh, that all the owners of, of those deals are changed to regular user so if we go to the pipeline you can't see here anything because we changed it to sales team C so now all those deals are there and they're owned by regular user as you can see here regular user is the owner of the deal of the organization and the person. All right, I hope that helps.